Have other countries found a new way to wage war against us? One that could create such chaos it would bring everything in the country to a grinding halt. CBS 2's Mary Calvi investigates hacking the grid. Water and utilities, police, fire, EMT, transportation, financial institutions, health care. If any one of these services were to be taken down, we would wreak havoc. Like most things in our homes today, our country's major infrastructure systems are online, so they can be controlled remotely. This is what keeps us going. But this is what could also stop us in our tracks. Because virtually everything connected to the internet, experts say, is vulnerable to hacking. How shocked were you when you found out your dam was hacked by Iranians? I was very surprised. The Bowman Dam in Westchester was actually hacked by these seven foreigners, now all wanted by the FBI. These same individuals were also indicted as part of a large attack against 46 financial institutions here in the country. Why in the world would they want to access this small dam? Paul Rosenberg is the mayor of Rybrook. Either they thought they were going to really cause some damage, or they were under the impression that this was another dam called the Bowman Dam out west, which is a significant dam. A significant dam located in Oregon that, if under the control of the wrong people, could potentially cause mass destruction. It is a new frontier. Arya Maharis is a special agent in charge of the FBI's New York Special Operations and Cyber Division. Somebody can sit in the sanctuary of security of their nation and conduct this attack. Similar hacking incidents across the country and overseas have been thought to be scouting missions. We're vulnerable. But control systems engineer Joe Weiss says he fears the day when the hackers stop practicing. And there is reconnaissance that is going on in our electric grids and other critical infrastructure. We're doing what needs to be done. And Special Agent Maharis admits it's not an easy task, but his agency is working quickly to protect and harden these systems with the help of the private sector. So that we're no longer considered soft targets. And the FBI also said that we too can help in this fight against hacking by making sure our home computers and systems are continually upgraded and secure.